Good morning all and welcome along out on a ride test with RB and I'm down my favourite little park just to give you a walk around of this the Cypher 2 this is the new version that's came out since last year now difference being the standard Cypher had a kettle plug down here these have the round charging port so controller is well charger is under the tank on the side you've got a round like a DIN plug drops in now the best thing with the Cypher is, this should be the petrol tank, but obviously being electric, loads of room for your charger to be stored in there and your other bits and pieces locks down with that little lock there. So, electric version, as soon as you put it on, it brings up that digital display, 18 degrees on the battery, we're at 52% charge, 1.9 miles in on the bike. And the best thing about this, you also have, should you be stuck in traffic, press the button. So arm it up, take it out of park. See the little button there? Twist the throttle once you've got the side stand up. And you have a reverse. Bottom right hand button. Give it a shove, off it goes. Right, let's see what she rides like. Now, we are in eco mode at the moment. So, we're going to take it out, we're going to have a little run, eco mode, now, we have set the gauge, or the dials, 2 miles per hour, that's also done on the buttons down there, you've also got a DTC button, which tells you everything about the bike, right, here we go, eco mode, now obviously winding it up to speed, and eco mode will give you there we go 28 29 30 mile an hour that's in your eco mode and obviously once we switch up to power mode watch this 37 38 39 40 41 So, a little bit quicker. Now, someone's going to say to me, that Cypher should be doing 30 miles an hour, 42. <laughs> yes, there is a way to unrestrict these. Believe it or not, RB knows the way to unrestrict the new Cyphers. And unfortunately, this time I cannot tell you how to do it. It is a Lexmoto secret. However, if you happen to be on the Facebook page for the Cypher Owners Group, I am on that page and you can message me privately and I will tell you. But unfortunately for the purposes of video, I cannot, and I have been told by Lexmoto, not to allow you to de-restrict the bike because it does void the warranty I can't see the reason why because one of the guys that I know on the Cypher page has one of the new Gen 2 versions with the round port now he bought his about a year and a half ago and he has been running full power unrestricted for the last two years or year and a half with no issues on the bike whatsoever now there is an easier way as well to actually get more speed out of the Cypher and that is to buy a different controller unit same battery, different controller, it's an unrestricted controller it's not going to cost you very much and once again I know where to get hold of it Cypher owners page on Facebook Eco mode round town, 30 mile an hour. If you want a bit more, flick it up into power mode. And these have been known to go pretty darn quick once you've got a full charge on them. So, about 42, 43, maybe 44. But they do go a lot faster. So, 
happy days and it doesn't affect the control it really doesn't but obviously due to Lexmoto laws could not tell you how to unrestrict but loving this electric bike now the thing is obviously servicing costs are really really cheap some dealers are doing services on these for about 40 quid and it's literally just battery check, bolt check, controller check and check your drive belt and do your tyre pressures that is it, that is all you need on one of these cheapest chips to uh, with the price of electric at the moment to uh, charge it up you can charge it up off your standard 240 mains plug just plug it into the wall, plug it into the bike job done now, roll off I am still rolling on on the residual power so if you are doing sort of round town you can roll off really really quickly but this thing gets to speed very quickly and we shall do that once the lights change so hopefully I'm going to get both sets of lights changed we're going to do the hill climb flat out full bore all the way up the big hill up to Brick Hill and we shall see what this little puppy does as I said I've gone green here we go hopefully I'm going to get two green lights in a row here we go one two three four five five seconds thirty eight nine yeah about ten ten twelve seconds to get it up to about forty mile an hour but up to thirty she's a flyer when you compare it to sort of a fifty cc ped they take ten seconds your one two five is going to probably take you about eight this thing does it in five and it is a flyer honestly really is good so we have obviously stuck it into unrestricted mode your standard restricted mode will get you 30 mile an hour all the way around town now climbing the hill are we going to lose any power so we're locked out 41 little 125 there we're still at 41 and we're still at 41 and we're climbing the hill there we go one mile an hour drop but she is still tracking up the hill absolutely perfectly yeah back to 41 so there is loads of torque on this motor up the back end and the best thing about it no gears to change it's twist and go one single motor belt drive job done so it does hold its own on the hill now considering I'm uh, just over 12 stone now but I measured myself last night weighed myself last night I'm now 12 4 uh, bundling the weight back on it's too many uh, late night drinking sessions and too many pies I think but let's see what it's like coming down the hill are we going to get a little bit more speed on the flat and coming down a hill? Be good to know. Or is the controller going to step in and hold me back? So, currently, five miles on the bike. Halfway there. As you can see, mirrors are super, super wide on this. Really good set of mirrors on this. Brakes are super efficient, but she gets up to speed damn quick. And being such a low slung bike, it corners really, really well. Right, here we go, down the other side. We are away. Actually, like 42, 43. That's on the flat. Slight incline. Are we going to pick up speed going down the hill? Forty-three. Now this one's already sold to a customer. And he 
he's going to love his 44 on a semi-incline so it's holding its own in traffic and it's the sort of running in speed that I would do if I was on a 125 as well right main part of the hill quick shoulder check of the junction 44 So if you're over 16 year old to buy one of these, a little bit faster than a 50cc and it will keep up with a 125. Unrestricted you've got that 125 speed as well. Great fun. Obviously further ride tests to come on this. We've got another bolt check to go, tyre pressures to go again. And a quick charge of the motor up to 100, well, a quick charge of the battery up to 100%. But considering we've done seven miles now, full power mode, and we were at 58%, I've dropped about 20%. But obviously a full charge should get you a decent 20 to 25 miles on a daily basis in unrestricted mode obviously if you flip down to eco for around town well you don't need to be uh, high speed around town you want to be in the 30s a great idea we shall do that in just a second so now sitting a 40 kick down to eco controllers kicked in bringing my speed down I'm still holding 35 and that's an eco but all you can hear obviously is <laughs> the whine of that motor down below let's have an earful so you just about pick up that low speed for <laughs> that uh, that whine in the background does sound like a little mini supercharger but eco mode there we go powering past speed cameras you haven't got a worry in the world about uh, getting a speeding fine as long as you stay in the eco mode which will kick you in at 30 obviously power mode takes you up into those higher speeds and the only other thing to obviously be aware is that you've got no engine noise so You've got to be a little bit more aware has a car driver seen you. Personally, leave it in power mode. So there she is, Lexmoto Cypher Gen 2 with the round port. Yes, it can be unrestricted. As I say, Lexmoto do not allow you to know how to do it, and I am not allowed to say. But, if you do want to know, message me, or drop me a message on my YouTube channel, or my Facebook, or my Insta. But there is a way to do it. And I can hear my phone going, which means it's quarter past eight, it's coffee time. So until the next time, guys, we're out riding, be well, ride safe, and from RB, as always... It's a big goodbye for me and we'll see you on the next one.